Hey guys, welcome back to Game On. So today was a really cool day. My wife and I, we went to the Toy Man show in St. Louis, Missouri. We got some footage, and if you stick around to the end, you get to see what I picked up. So sit back, grab a drink, and let's get to it.
Yeah, let me get the metal sign. Awesome. All right, guys. As you can see from the footage, it was an amazing show. There was just a huge turnout, tons of vendors, people everywhere. Um, it was it was just crazy. I mean, I was overwhelmed. This was what they call their Halloween Toy Man show. Uh, because it's at the end of September and the next one's not until November, they, they just had a lot more uh, Halloween masks and the special guests were geared more towards uh, Halloween. They did have a guy uh, who played Leatherface in um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. There was a guy from uh, Star Trek Next Generation was there. It was just an amazing show. So I wanted to just go over, I only picked up like seven things, not a lot, but you know, um, they were all very well priced and, and I'm happy with what I got. So the first item, this is something I saw right away was Gauntlet Legends for the N64. It's in great, great condition. This was, he had it marked for 12 and he ended up taking uh, 10 for it. I am ecstatic. It's, it's, this is like, this thing runs around in the, in the mid twenties. So this was a great first pickup. And you know, he had like one game out of all these toys and there was this, this game just going, buy me, buy me. And I'm, I'm like, Sure, I'll buy you. I like it a lot. So, the next thing I gotta credit my wife for this. So, we were walking around, and I'm, you know, there's so much to see. You can't, you can't even focus. This is unlike any con that I've ever been to. It's just, you know, the, the, um, I guess the little uh, walkways are very tight in between tables. It's tight. So you're just trying to take it all in. And my wife eyes this uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This is um, for the DS. I, or no, this is Phantom Hourglass. I'm sorry. No! So she sees this and it has seven bucks on it. Now it was probably a promotion. I'm, I'm thinking back when this came out. Yeah, it was some sort of promotion. So I don't think there was ever a, um, a thermos but it's in really good condition. There is a few dings and there's some scratches. It's not perfect. It, you know, it, it's not awful, but it's not perfect. Um, but he had seven bucks on it and my wife was like, would you do five? And he said, sure. So we got a lunchbox, a Zelda lunchbox. Very happy with that. The next thing is a game because of the Halloween show. Uh, I had to pick this up. This is Dead Space 1. I love Dead Space 2. This is even scarier. Um, I got it for $3. It's complete. It doesn't have a scratch on it. Uh, I'm glad to add this to the collection. Um, <clears throat> and then the next two things, you know, there, there's just so much there, but this shows you kind of the scope. So, you know, I mean, things are all over the map. So I got two movie posters, both double-sided, which <laughs> the first one is a 12 Monkeys poster, original to the day. It was in a theater, a Werenberg. Back in the day, this guy uh, used to work for Werenberg. And yeah, so that's double-sided. This is also a near mint uh, Talladega Nights, double-sided. He gave me these for 15 total. So they were $7.50 a piece. Um, I am very happy with that. Now I am as happy as a little girl. I've got a theater room, a movie room uh, over here, and I swap out posters all the time. These are 27 by 40. They'll, they'll fit in these frames, the nice frames that I have. And it's just nice to kind of, you know, you get to change your decor just by putting up a new poster. You know, you just kind of get sick of the same Star Wars and Indiana Jones and stuff like that. So that was cool. And he had a lot of new stuff. I mean, he had um, a Joker poster that I should have probably bought. He had uh, an added Astra with the new Brad Pitt movie. He had that, that was 20, I think. But, I mean, he had old stuff, all original, a uh, lot of horror stuff, very cool. So, 
The last thing, this was uh, my wife um, got. There was a lady named Candace Daly, and she does like watercolor illustrations. So these are for my daughter. These were two for 20. I got a Legend of Zelda. This is the Ocarina. Very, very cool. And this is the other one is Majora's Mask. So these are going to get uh, framed. This is a Christmas present. So I guess if my daughter sees it, oh well. Um, but those were, you know, we didn't spend a lot, to, you know, but you could have spent hours, hours at this, at this show. I highly recommend if you are in St. Louis, I think it's the second or it's usually they do one every two months on a Sunday at 9 a.m. is when it starts. They do have an early bird at eight. It's a few bucks more, but five dollar entry fee. You cannot beat this show. If you're in town and it's going on, you got to go to Toy Man. It is unbelievable. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe. I'll try and get more videos out. Keep them keep the content varied. So my name's Pat, just reminding you to always game on. Game on! Yeah, game on! Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Oh.